out of y'all. So I just want to give my gratitude and love to you guys because I've been having a little bit of a rough past week and I just want to say that it's just nice to be able to connect with y'all for this type of video. So let's get into this. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Aries, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week, Aries. I also do your weekly uh, you versus them reading, Aries, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards. You know your situation better than I ever could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it, uh, Aries. Uh, if you find something that resonates with you, Aries, be sure to let me know in the comments below because I love hearing y'all's aha moments that you have with the cards. That's how I keep up with y'all's through the comments, right? Uh, and then also be sure to give my video a like and subscribe if you do find this video helpful in any type of way. And last but not least, Aries, uh, this reading is just here to give you some food for thought, something for you to think about as you go throughout your week. I'm not here to make a decision in your life. It's your life to live, not mine, right? Uh, but we're going to just get into this reading now. Um, let's look at your overall energies for this week. Aries, we have the Ace of Coins coming in for you, as well as the Death card. So this is a doozy of a week for for you, Aries, but it's in a good way. Um, I feel like I always say this too. Uh, that just shows my optimistic nature, Aries. But um, Ace of Coins, let's talk about this first. The Ace of Coins, I always call this like the blank check of the universe. I always feel super repetitive whenever I say it. Uh, but it's kind of like the universe handing you a check, Aries, and you're making... You decide how much that check is worth. You're deciding how productive this week's going to be. You're deciding how many blessings you want to receive in your life this week because it's just like, is ultimately letting you know that you are really in control of like the bounty this week. It lets me know that the energy, like the energies, Aries, it lets me know that this is like a really good, like this has a really good potential should you utilize this week to really make the most of it in terms of like your finances perhaps and just in terms of your overall abundance whatever that abundance looks like for you what does abundance look like for you does abundance look like thriving healthy relationships with your family life does abundance look like a thriving love life right um but in order to receive that abundance that we're talking about with this ace of coins Aries, we have to go through some type of transition with this death card. Uh, it looks a lot scarier than it actually is because it just lets me know if we, like a uh, process of like, you have to kind of make space, do a little bit of spring cleaning. I know it's not spring quite yet, Aries, but this is definitely a spring cleaning thing of like, in order to receive more blessings in your life, you have to make room for it, right? And the only way that you make room is by letting things go that no longer are serving you, whether this is even just habits or what have you, right? So we'll definitely see um, through each section of your life this week of how this is going to incorporate um, and how this is relevant for you in your life and situation this week, um, Aries. But let's first start out with your um, career row. I'm going to pull a card for your career and pull some clarifiers, see what insight we can get in regards to that for this week for you, Aries. See what's up with that and see how that correlates with your Ace of Coins and Death card. All right, these two cards wanted to come out. Starting out this energy for your career, Aries, we have the Eight of Swords and the Five of Swords. So this lets me know in how this is uh, Death card is relevant for this, Aries. It lets me know that um, kind of needing to make a transition in terms of like your mental behavior. Um, let's break this down a little bit. Eight of Pentacle or Eight of Swords lets me know of. Um, kind of like those self-limiting thoughts. So in terms of career, this would definitely be like for my Aries that feel as if they're not good enough or if they're not working hard enough or if like, um, it's just really like those, the excuses that we tell ourselves as to why we're not accomplishing enough or why we feel like we're not accomplishing enough. It's just like those excuses, self-limiting thoughts, self-deprecation, all that stuff. You need to walk away from it with this five of swords, right? You need to walk away from the mental behaviors, the habits that you have that are affecting your work life that limit you from accomplishing your greatness, right? What's really limiting you from your ace of coins moment in terms of your career for those that are resonating for this section, Aries, lets me know that you need to make some type of transition. If you feel like you're a little bit stuck, if you feel as if like your finances are just kind of like stale right now, look at what it is that you need to um, look at for your mentality, right? Is your mentality healthy? Um, all that, right? Let's pull some clarifiers, see if we can get any more detail in regards to this though, Aries. Um, definitely an interesting start. 
Mm, shuffle a couple more times. Let's see, let's see. I don't know, I feel like the fool keeps popping up in my head, Aries, but it may just be my own bias, so I'm not gonna like talk about it too much, but if it does come up in this reading, then I definitely will. But something I just want to note, maybe it's going to resonate with for some of you Aries otherwise. Um, th uh, the three cards that I pulled, clarifiers. One, I just want to say, write down the number three uh, Aries for numerology, so you can look it up later. Three is a, my favorite number, actually. Um, it's a very powerful number, so definitely look it up after the shooting, Aries. Um, the clarifiers I pulled for your Eight of Swords and your uh, Five of Swords, Aries, is the Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and then the Nine of Wands. So this is a heavy codependency energy, Aries. I don't know for if you, for my Aries that maybe have like, are used to like working with other people, Aries. <clears throat> Maybe you feel like you, if, if maybe you have been put out on your own on some level, or you've been put in this situation where you kind of realize that the only one that can get you out of like this rut or like this entrapment is yourself, right? Because it definitely is like an entrapment of sorts of where it's just like no one, no outside source can help you, Aries. I do, I do feel inclined to say, I do feel like there's good energies around you, people that want to help you right? You have the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. You really can't get a better setup when it talks about like outside energies, right? It lets me know you have really good people, really good people in terms of your emotional life and really good people in terms of your work life as well. Um, I feel like this just kind of gives me an energy of just like the people that are around you that can help support you in terms of your career really, um, really care about you and really want to uplift you but there is like a phase where you have to look at yourself first before you can receive that help you have to go out like nine of wands comes in of where it's just like go on a little bit of a journey of yourself or with yourself for a while right it's that card where it's just like no one's going to get you out of this jungle but yourself so you kind of have to get up and make that decision for yourself to truck tr uh, truck on through and to make it out on the other side definitely like, like a rite of passage is something that i'm hearing um so aries this might definitely feel like a week where you feel a little bit alone this week you might feel a little bit abandoned some of you guys might have some abandonment issues coming up this week it's intentional it's intentional because it's like it's important for you to realize your own potential and the only way for you to realize that is to kind of go out on your own a little bit right um i feel like the only way for you to tra have this transitional phase is for you to have to be shaken up a little bit back of the deck energy for this ace of wands yes it's on the name of forward movement you're not going to get that forward movement from your other outside sources until you go over like this rite of passage i feel in terms of your work life so we're going to close off that section now aries we're going to get into your social relationships now for this week see what's up with that now this when i say social this could be your friendships this could be your love life aries this could be anything social right so let's see what's up with that let's see what's going on there all right so we have the chariot card so continuing on with that forward movement really powerful um chariot card that i always see the chariot as only coming in when you are on your right path aries so if you're having anxiety about that lets me know that the chariot, because here's the thing when it comes to if you're having doubts when a, in terms of the people in your life which it happens to everybody right you always have that cool, like i feel like maybe i'm alone here right maybe i'm just speaking by myself let me know if i am aries um it's like you always will wonder if you're making bad investments with people or if it's not bad. Well, I guess, yeah, wasting your time with people, right? It's just like, oh, am I wasting my time with certain individuals? Am I trying to make it work with wrong individuals? You absolutely are not. Um, the chariot card lets me know that you're on the right path, that you are, even if it doesn't feel like it, even if it's like stressful for you right now, even if you are in that transitional period with this death card, um, you're on the right path. It's, it's all like all part of the plan. That's constantly something I'm hearing. Aries is like you definitely have a very strong um, spiritual family looking out for you. When I say that, like your archangels, your guardian angels, spirit guides, whatever it is that you uh, uh, resonate with, Aries, you definitely have a very strong spiritual family trying to guide you right now because they're very loud trying to come through. Uh, the clarifiers I pulled for your chariot card, Aries, were the nine of cups the wheel card and the ten of swords so hmm 
In terms of like your social relationships and how this is correlating with your chariot card, I always enjoy this and it always seems to happen too, where you see the chariot and then there's always like the wheel coming in in some type of way where it's like you're finally taking... <laughs> You're finally taking the driver's seat to your life in some type of capacity, Aries. And when you have it naturally, because we have the uh, Ace of Wands at the back of the deck energy as well from before, just a lot of forward movement. You have a lot of forward movement in your life. You're finally taking the, um, you're finally getting into the driver's seat when you realize no one else is going to drive you. A chauffeur is not going to come. The only way that you get to your happiness for your Nine of Cups is by you overcoming like your anxieties with driving, right? If we're gonna use that analogy, overcoming like your past fears. Maybe you had a bad accident, driving accident before. So now when it comes to like relationships now, um, what's limiting you, what's stopping you is like your past traumas, right? So this lets me know this is what you're transitioning over in terms of your social life. It's just like you transition from this past pain, like I guess really in short, shadow work, right? You're doing some shadow work. Um, social relationships in your life right now may be triggering you to cause you to do some shadow work to cause you to self-reflect and heal which is essential right it's all in the path of nine of cups for that happiness for that fulfillment for you uh aries so really beautiful cards back of the deck energy is the moon card uh so definitely this is going to be a week keep on uh you're going to be kept on your toes a little bit, Aries. I feel like something might catch you by surprise this week. Um, don't stress. I don't feel like a bad energy from this, right? Um, so don't give yourself anxiety over it. But I feel like someone in your life might be coming in with some type of news in your life that's going to kind of... It just When I say catch you off guard, you just won't expect it, right? It could be anything. Um, but yeah, when I see this moon card, it's just like you can kind of anticipate someone coming to you with something um, that you just didn't really anticipate. Uh, but now let's look at the general messages. Let's see what advice that we can get from Spirit for this overall week for you. I don't feel like the, that's a card for you. Let's see. I'm getting these cards all mixed up now. Uh, let's see. Really overall good week for you, Aries. Um, definitely, uh, for sure, just a week of transitions for you. So it's probably going to just feel like a heavy week. That abandonment, it will you're definitely probably going to have some abandonment issues triggered. Um, just being honest, right? Uh, we have the King of Wands starting out this energy for the overall messages. So this is definitely a that the pro, proactive energy for sure. It's that proactive energy. It's definitely um, going like a week for you. Air, you know, it's kind of fitting. It's more forward action. Oh, you got a bunch of you got a bunch of wands cards. You got a bunch of uh, um, swords cards. So a lot of wind air rather a lot of air a lot of fire so a lot of passion but a lot of in your head aries um probably a little bit anxious or overthinker king of wands comes in though of that forward movement um with a passion of some sort i feel like this is more so correlating in terms of your career uh spread i'm gonna be honest here but let's pull some clarifiers <laughs> i'll show you in a minute aries but because you're gonna laugh oh hold on let me show you now because of my reaction so you don't freak out aries but we got the death card coming in again so two cards letting you know of heavy transitions this week heavy 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 transitions this week um but it's all in the name of healing three of swords comes in of where it's just like this is really probably i'm gonna be honest aries like again i'm just saying this as a friend like i'm looking out for you like buckle up for a heavy week but it's, again, I'm going to keep on em like emphasizing that it's going to be a heavy week in the name of progress for you, in the name of healing. Um, definitely seems to be speaking heavily on shadow work. Queen of Cups comes in of where um, it's touching heavily on emotions for you. Um, I just, yeah, this is definitely a week, Aries. I just feel like you're going to be tested. This is a rite of passage for you almost. This is a week of where it's just like, how open are you going to be to receiving the lessons from the universe? How... Um, how open are you going to be and how much are you going to internalize um, the things that happen to you this week? Because the less you internalize it, the more you see this as the lesson that it is and trying to help you transition, make the transitions in your life that you need to, I really see you on like the path towards success, right? When you have that chariot card, right? You have that nine of wands, like you have king of, like a lot of forward movement, no matter which row that you look at this, Aries. It's just a matter of allowing the transitions to happen, allow that death energy to come in this week and um, take care of the things that you need to take care of, right? Allow your spirit family to assist you in those transitions, right? 
It's a reading that I have for you. I'm going to close this reading off with an oracle, animal oracle card, uh, Aries, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Be sure to share my video with a friend if you think they might be into my messages. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, um, and then let me know which card resonated with you the most. Uh, two cards came out for you, Aries. We have 44, so 8 for numerology, the Panther, Panther Spirit, Reclaim Your Power. So what have I been saying, Aries? You've been going into the driver's seat for your chariot. You've been taking life into your own hands, right? And the Wolf Spirit comes in as well, 67. So that would be what? 13. So that would be 4. For numerology, will spirit turn knowledge into wisdom? These two cards, honey, I should have just pulled these at the beginning, Aries, and this could have been a 30 second video because this literally summarizes everything that I was saying before. But it's beautiful because it just shows one that I'm right. But no, also as well, Aries, that this is a really awesome week for you. Um, really just be open to turning anything that happens this week into knowledge, into wisdom, because it's really, it's a powerful week for you. Um, and yeah, that's the reading that I have for you. Let me know how this resonates, Aries. But until next time, I love you so much. Bye.